With polygons, you can measure the interior angles and exterior angles. You can also add up the sums of all interior angles and the sums of all exterior angles of regular polygons. Let's learn how. Regular polygons exist without limit, theoretically, but as you get more and more sides, the polygon looks more and more like a circle. The regular polygon with the fewest sides, 3, is the equilateral triangle. Triangles are easy. Their interior angles add to 180 degrees. Likewise, a square, a regular quadrilateral, adds to 360 degrees, because a square can be divided into two triangles. The word polygon means many angles, though most people seem to notice the sides more than they notice the angles, so they created words like quadrilateral, which means four sides. Regular polygons have as many interior angles as they have sides, so the triangle has three sides and three interior angles, square, four of each pentagon, 5, and so on. Our dodecagon has 12 sides and 12 interior angles. The formula for the sum of that polygon's interior angles is refreshingly simple. Let n equal the number of sides of whatever regular polygon you are studying. Here is the formula. The sum of interior angles equals n minus 2 times 180 degrees. You can do this. Try it first with our equilateral triangle. The sum of interior angles equals 180 degrees. What about for a square? The sum of interior angles equals 360 degrees. That was easy, but how do we find one interior angle? To find the measure of a single interior angle, then, you simply take that total for all the angles and divide it by n the number of sides or angles in the regular polygon. The new formula looks very much like the old formula. We then just divide by the number of sides. Let's test it for the equilateral triangle. We can see one interior angle is 60 degrees. Let's tackle a dodecagon now. Remember what the 12-sided dodecagon looks like? Let's find the sum of the interior angles. Start with our formula and plug in 12 minus 2 times 180 degrees. The sum of angles of a dodecagon is 1,800 degrees. Now let's find one interior angle. Remember we used the same formula, just take an extra step and divide by the number of sides, n. One interior angle equals 150 degrees. Awesome. Now let's move on to exterior angles. Every regular polygon has exterior angles. These are not the reflex angle, greater than 180 degrees, created by rotating from the exterior of one side to the next. That is a common misunderstanding. For instance, in an equilateral triangle, the exterior angle is not 360 degrees minus 60 degrees equals 300 degrees, as if we were rotating from one side all the way around the vertex to the other side. Exterior angles are created by extending one side of the regular polygon past the shape, and then measuring in degrees from that extended line back to the next side of the polygon. Since you are extending a side of the polygon, that exterior angle must necessarily be supplementary to the polygon's interior angle. Together, the adjacent interior and exterior angles will add to 180 degrees. For our equilateral triangle, the exterior angle of any vertex is 120 degrees. For a square, the exterior angle is 90 degrees. If you prefer a formula, subtract the interior angle from 180 degrees. Now let's take a look at that dodecagon again. We know any interior angle is 150 degrees, so the exterior angle is 180 minus 150 equals 30 degrees. Let's check our work. Multiply exterior angle times the number of sides of the regular polygon. 30 times 12 equals 360 degrees. Every time you add up or multiply, which is fast addition, the sums of exterior angles of any regular polygon, you always get 360 degrees.